Thank you, Nisa Video Game Company, for giving both of us a key for Trails into Reverie. Thank you, Nisa. Hi, I'm Eric. And I'm Felix. And this is everything you want to know before diving into The Legend of Heroes, Trails into Reverie. Trails into Reverie is the conclusion of the Erebonian and Crossbell arcs of the Legend of Heroes Trails franchise. This is the 10th game of the Trails franchise, the 13th game in the Legend of Heroes series, the third Crossbell game, and fifth Cold Steel. Did you write all that down? That's a lot of game. This is the culmination of almost 500 hours of RPG story and is not a phenomenal entry point into the series. However, we're here to help you get started so you can enjoy this game to the fullest. Before you get started with Trails into Reverie, you are going to want to make sure that you play through The Legend of Heroes, Trails from Zero, Trails to Azure, as well as all four Trails of Cold Steel games. Trails into Reverie is available on Nintendo Switch, PlayStation 4 and 5, as well as PC. And you're going to want to make sure you have save data for at least Trails from Zero, Trails to Azure, Cold Steel 3, and Cold Steel 4 on the same system that you've purchased Reverie. You're going to want to make sure that you have your clear data for Cold Steel 4. Your class rank at the end of Cold Steel 4 matters for one or more bonuses for you to acquire during your time playing Trails into Reverie. However, you only need save data of any kind for the other three games. Keep in mind that if you're wanting to play this on the Nintendo Switch, Cold Steel 1 and 2 are not currently available, but Exceed Video Game Company, you could totally make them available. Exceed Video Game Company released the Switch ports onto the Nintendo Switch English version. Exceed Video Game Company, they exist in the Japanese. What is taking you so long? Now, you might be wondering after looking into the series on whether or not you need to play through The Legend of Heroes Trails in the Sky. Trails in the Sky is an important part of the series. However, you may only need to play them to understand some of the references that may be brought up during the events of Trails into Reverie such as the liberal incident and Estelle being the greatest fisherman of all time. It's true. You already have basically 450 hours worth of homework for this game. If you don't want to, you don't have to put on the extra. Also, Trails in the Sky is currently only easily available on PC. XC Video Game Company released Switch ports of the Sky Trilogy and also allowed them to be on the PlayStation. What is happening? XC Video Game Company, I did it. If you feel like you don't want to play any of those games, however, you can go straight in by using the amazing backstory feature in the main menu, which will give you recaps of previous events, character bios, and important things that you need to know. Now you know everything you need to know to enjoy Trails into Reverie, so go into that Reverie Corridor. That's what it says, right? Yeah, Corridor. Yeah. Oh man, oh god, there's hallways! <laughs>